camera recording? Oh, yeah, just. What is up, guys? Welcome back. Hope you guys like the intro. Got some really cool videos last night at a studio. New music video is gonna drop with the Skyline and the 240 real soon, but not my music video. It's gonna be Andrew's cousin's music video. I will keep you guys updated. I hope it turns out super clean. With that being said, we're gonna head to the warehouse right now. We're gonna install a new radiator. So uh, let's stop wasting time and let's go. Before we step inside, I need, I need to clarify a couple things with Mishimoto. I just want to clarify a couple things with Mishimoto. Uh, the last video I made with the clutch fan and the electric fan, I wasn't trying to make them look bad. Uh, the fan is not broken. Nothing's broken with Mishimoto. Uh, the, the, the 240 has, uh, all the wires inside of the 240 is all messed up and, and, and in order for the electric fan to work, I have to plug it into the battery and sometimes it will just slip out and then my car will overheat. So I'm going to uh, reinstall the electric fan real soon. I know all you guys are telling me to uh, make some kind of switch for it uh if you guys know any videos on how to install that electric switch uh let me know in the comments below but uh yeah that's all i wanted to say let's get inside I'll scrape off my wrap eh, it's okay check this out so the other day where's my keys it's on the other side. so the other day i was super bored and i did something to my 240 it's all funny Hell funny. Alright. You guys gotta look closely. <laughs> Hope you guys saw that, but the shot all the way out to here, which is like the good like 10, 15 feet spray. Oh fuck. Oh my god, slipping. Look how thick this thing is. Show you guys a better comparison later when I take this out, but this one's all tiny. It's puny. This is huge. All right. Well, I guess what am I waiting for? Oh, sick! That ship just broke in there. Two <sighs> forties. Damn! This whole time I was trying to film a time lapse, but I didn't realize my camera died. Well, whatever. But radiators out. Let's do a little comparison. Look at that difference. Holy shit. That's going into the trash. Uh, before we install the new radiator though, I'm gonna have to take out the AC. Okay, I guess, I forgot to mention, when you guys are taking out your AC, uh, if there's still any AC left in there, make sure you do it outside. Uh, I emptied out my AC a long time ago. But uh, yeah. AC is out. Who needs AC? I just won't drive this car in the summer. All right, man. You see those little holes right here? This one? And that one? That's where the grommet goes into. So just drop that bitch. And you're working on cars. Yeah, just because I don't vlog it doesn't mean I don't work on cars. <laughs> so I actually managed to get the fan shroud back in. I didn't think it was gonna fit because the new radiator is so uh, freaking big. I mean, I think it clears. Yep, I think, I think it clears. Thank God. All right, guys. So the top hose is connected. All I need now are zip ties to hold it in. Beautiful. All right, guys. We are all done. Pretty easy. Uh, let's fill her up with some brand new coolant. Since it's a lot bigger than the OEM one, I brought two just in case. And we're back. Oh, thank God that was a closed one. Alright, and we're back. Oh, yeah. Damn, so I just I just finished using one. And uh, it doesn't look like it's filled up yet. Wait, there's a little trick where you squeeze this, the coolant tube or something. Then uh, it would kind of just circulate and go in or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Before we start up the car, I bought some stickers for the 240 and I'm still going with the sticker bomb rear seat delete and I know some of my stickers are coming off I think it's because it's probably because of the texture of the seat delete it's not smooth so the stickers don't really uh, grip onto it so that's why I bought a bunch of these small ones and then uh, I think I mentioned it in my last video I'm gonna put a bunch of these small ones on the bottom and then I'll save all the stickers that I get from uh, Dana, Severe Sky and all you guys and I'll put it on top 
All right, we're gonna try this one more time. And I hope all my stickers stay. Half of them had to come out. So bummed, but uh, it's okay. I got 400 stickers right here. I got so many stickers left. I got another pack too. Starting to come along. I really miss doing this back in high school when I did this to uh, everything I own, like my skateboards and stuff like that. So really brings back memories. All right guys, we are all done. No leaks. It's a good thing. Uh, I just got one more thing. I just got one more thing for the 240, but I don't have that with me today. So uh, we're going to continue this video tomorrow. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So we're back at the warehouse. And KT, sir, what are you doing, bro? Work. Work? <laughs> those, those wheels that uh, Randy gave you? Trying to make them fit. What's, what's, uh, what's not fitting? The front wheels, um, is, I guess. Randy was right. They don't fit. So I have to run 10 mil spacers. <laughs> and then now I, well, I mean, they, I think they do, they do fit, but then they, they pump out a little bit. So uh, I got, I had a feeling that's gonna happen. So I got the, the front upper control arm. Now I gotta take, put it on. <laughs> and the worst part is that since my, I maxed out my suspension, look at this. Oh. How am I gonna take this out? What bolt is? Oh, that's for your fucking this thing, right? To hold the upper control arm. So it was already up here, and I raised it now, and it's still a little bit more. So oh, once I raise it, take the bolt out, put everything in, I gotta drill, lower it back down again. God damn. You know, when I'm done doing what I gotta do, I'll help you out. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so remember what I told you guys last night? Well, of course, you guys remember. It was like probably like 10 seconds ago for you guys, but for me. Well, anyways. I got a little thing for the 240. Uh, it's gonna be super sick. Watch. So I got new seats for the passenger side because the passenger seat wasn't fitting. the The chairs, the the chairs just way too big. So I got something a little bit smaller. Aha. There you go. Now it fits. Nice. Mm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my other NRG seat. Uh, I'll just I'll just have it laying around just in case this one breaks or something like that. All right, guys. So if there's anything else you guys would like to see me do to my car, please let me know in the comments below. I again, I'm still new to the car game, so I don't know what to do next. Eh, kinda. Uh, there is options of going wider, uh, over fenders, and stuff like that, but I really don't want to go wide body, so. Anything else if you guys think that I should do, please let me know in the comments below. I did order a D-Max uh, hood vent, so I'm probably going to cut into my Sylvia hood real soon. I know some of you guys won't like that, but fuck it. Uh, I also ordered a uh, Origin Lab uh, wing, but that's not going to come in until like another two or three months. The 326 wing, I got kind of tired of it. Everybody has it, so uh, I am trying to sell it. I think some of the homies are trying to pick it up. KT might might buy it for me. <laughs> so uh yeah. Uh if you guys do not know what the origin lab wing looks like, uh look it up. It looks pretty sick, but it's kind of like a little drag wing. Kind of comes out like this, like out. You know what I mean? I can't explain it. I'm really bad at explaining. So guys, look it up. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. I already ordered it, so it's gonna go on uh, regardless. I do want more power on the 240, but I don't know what to do i know there's an option of boosting it but i can't boost it right now because uh compression tests are bad stuff like that i'm trying to take it to as many as many drift events as possible blow the motor rebuild it and then throw a turbo in it so turbo is going to be a little bit later so i'm talking to kt right now and thinking about buying these wheels off of him what do you guys think i think it looked pretty cool uh i might just paint it white as well maybe we'll see i'm gonna sleep on that I think that's it for today's video, guys. I'm going to go help out KT. He looks like he's struggling. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.